Jake Starts School by Michael Wright. Jake woke up his first day of school as sunshine filled the sky and Fred, his dog, jumped on his bed, then licked him in the eye. Jake brushed his teeth, he combed his hair, he wore his favorite shirt. And packed inside his lunchbox were two cookies for dessert. When mom and dad called, time to go, they drove off in the van to Jake's first fun-filled day at school. At least, that was the plan. As they arrived, Jake was surprised to see so many kids. Some of them he'd seen before, but most he never did. And his dad says, big day, son. And his mom says, isn't this exciting? Then there it was, room number one, where Jake would join his class. It looked so big. He felt so small. He passed a little gas. Just then, the door swung open, and a red-haired lady said, Hi, I'm your teacher, Mrs. Moore. Yeah! Jake screamed, and then he fled. He grabbed his parents at the knees and would not let them go. They told him, please, we have to leave. But all he'd say was, no. His teacher tried to pry him off. The principal did too. The school nurse gave it her best shot until her face turned blue. There is no choice his teacher's voice said to the clumping mass. It's looking like the three of you will have to come to class. They walked into the room as one and tried to be discreet, but that's not easy when you've got three people in a seat. Jake could not do a single thing as long as he held on. No playing with the other kids, no joining in a song. Finger painting was no fun without a hand or two. His clay would stay a blob all day. He could not squirt the glue. They tried to take a seesaw ride, but didn't have much fun. It's just no good when one side's light and the other weighs a ton. The tricycles were terrible. So was the jungle gym. He couldn't take a bathroom break. He had to hold it in. He could not feed the classroom pets, the turtle, or the bird. There was no way to make a friend. He didn't speak a word. His teacher finally told the class that soon the bell would ring and school would let out for the day. But there was one more thing. I'd like to read a story before our day is through. So everybody take your place and I will read to you. She turned and reached upon the shelf and found one special book. This one's about a dog named Fred. Why don't we take a look? Then from the back part of the room, there came a tiny sound. I have a dog. His name is Fred, Jake said and turned around. His teacher grinned and asked, You do? I know what might be fun. If you could hold this book for me, I'll read to everyone. That's when Jake let his parents go, and they felt some relief. It'd been a while since they had some feeling in their feet. With every page, Jake loosened up and saw from where he stood, the whole class sat and smiled at him, and inside, 
he felt good. And when the closing bell rang out, Jake looked to Mrs. Moore and gave her his last cookie as he walked right out the door. This whole first year with Mrs. Moore has been a lot of fun. Jake's special place to learn and grow is classroom number one.